Hello everyone, welcome to Sideboard Game. Today I'll show most efficient bill order for Crimean faction and agricultural playmat. On first round, we will produce. On second round, we will trade to iron. On third round, we'll produce again. On fourth round, we will trade two more iron and deploy our first make, which will be speed make. On round six, we'll produce and achieve our first star, which will be worker star. We can do loss run now and do an enlist should enlist the card option so we'll get maximum amount of card time and faction can use one combat card as a resource we have to take full advantage of it on round seven we will trade two oil on round eight we will do our first movement character should go to the encounter this make will carry all worker and be said drop two worker in the farm so there will be three worker total in the farm and go to this iron now and drop all worker and resource there from the encounter we choose the first option but it doesn't matter this bill order is independent from all encounter cards now we will update in this game we will update only two times First update will be Bluster to Recruitment. On round 9, we will produce. This is our last produce of the game. On round 10, we will Bluster and Enlist. This Enlist can be our power option, so we get bonus power when our opponent upgrade. On this round 11, we will trade to iron and deploy our first our second make which is river work. On round 12, we can lost her again and do our enlist. Should take the should enable the coin bonus. This trade will take one food and one. while and we will uh, deploy scout make on round 14 we'll bluster again Uh, we already have maximum power, so we can bluster for card. If we do not have bluster at top because of not getting enough bonus power from the opponent, we could have blustered the power from here rather than the card. Now we do our last enlist and collect our enlist star. So now we have three star. First one was from worker. Second one was from power, bluster, and third one is the enlist one. End of this turn. Now we will move. As we have enough card to do the upgrade after movement, 
will do the movement now but in case we didn't have enough card we could have traded for another while one of our um, achievement card is controlling the tundra so when we'll move we'll move this make Most of the workers here and take just one worker to this tundra. So we control two tundra for now. Take our hero to this encounter. This encounter doesn't matter. This build order is independent from any encounter card. But as now you are knowing the strategy, if you think any encounter will help you to even uh, make this strategy faster, then they will be very useful to you. Now, the last upgrade, which is our second upgrade. From movement to deploy. On round 16, we will trade to iron and deploy our last make here so now we have four star we just need two more star now one star we can collect by attacking enemy here another star we can collect by simply going to another tundra in case you cannot achieve a objective star you can simply achieve that by attacking one more which is two combat star we are using the um, movement action taking this make Here, so we control three tundra and take this make to this tunnel. Drop one worker. In fact, let's drop two worker and take it to here to attack this enemy. And this make can simply go to factory for maximum territory control end of movement come back stealing one card using maximum power to secure the victory so this is common start need just one more start which is our um, Objectives. So we get our six star. This is a very powerful um, combo of faction and playmat. We are getting a lot of extra coins from the enlist, and while we are enlisting, we are getting cards and using those cards as resource on every turn. We are uh, having all the worker very early, so we have to do very minimum um, production because the production row doesn't give us any useful bottom row for the strategy. This build order was independent from any factory card or encounter card, but as now you see the main vision of the strategy, if you think your encounter is helping you to make it even faster, you can definitely take advantage of that. On this particular build, we choose to take objective star 
if that is not achievable or you think that is taking too much turn don't bother rather go for another combat star this is how you can secure victory around 95 percent time with this combo thank you so much for watching good luck